Welcome to the vlog today, guys. What a beautiful day outside. It's like 50 degrees, bright, sunny, very little clouds. Ah, it's beautiful. So, um, I am on my lunch right now. I'm on my way back over to the house. Uh, Christina and I are going to go visit a, an after-school program for AJ. Um, it's right up the street from the school. It's basically in between our house and the school, so it's gonna be perfect. Um, Christina's going back to work full-time starting Monday, and we need to find somewhere that we can put AJ um, after school that will help him kind of work through some of his um, autism um, hurdles that he, uh, that he experiences along with making it up possible for Christina to be able to still work full-time so um, we've got this really cool opportunity that we're uh, gonna try and get him in we're gonna go visit the classroom today and visit some of the folks and try and get that taken care of we're pretty excited about it uh, Christina talked to him over the phone yesterday um, she's got some pretty good vibes uh, just from the phone conversation so I'm pretty excited because of it so we're gonna go check that out and uh, see what that's all about and then I gotta go back to work. I gotta finish uh, doing a couple more scripts for this big project that we're putting together at work. And then tonight, Christina is gonna stay home with Michael and AJ, and then I'm gonna grab Bradley and my dad and my nephew, and we're gonna go to um, an outdoor classic. Uh, it's the hockey game. Here in town we have, if you're not from Bakersfield, um, we have a, uh, basically would be a triple-A hockey team um, that is affiliated with the Edmonton Oilers. And um, so we have the Rabobank Arena that they normally play in. But this year, um, they kind of did a spin-off that the NHL does where they do the outdoor classics or the winter classic. Um, they just did one on New Year's Day between the St. Louis Blues and the Chicago Blackhawks. And they basically build a hockey rink in the outfield or infield, however it fits, of a baseball stadium. So it's outdoors, in the elements, playing hockey. Um, so they kind of did the same thing here, only they didn't do it in a football field. They did it, or the, uh, a baseball field. They actually did it in uh, the football field at the junior college. So tonight is one of the games. They got another game tomorrow night. So we're going to go to that game tonight and, and check it out and have some fun. So it should be a blast. So last night on my way home from work, I got a phone call from the trade school here in town that I've taught at um, a few times. And they offered me a position for, it's basically a, a, a semester, um, to teach the core class, which is a class that teaches people getting into trades, uh, construction safety, how to read construction drawings, how to use power tools, how to use hand tools, um, you know, just the general, general knowledge before they get into their actual trade training. And uh, I've taught it twice before, and I really enjoy the class, but I haven't had the chance to teach it for over a year because of the current economic uh, environment of oil right now. With it being low, um, they, a lot of these oil field companies, they're not hiring new people. They're keeping a lot of their old guys on. But the core class is the first class they take in the first semester of their first year in the trade school. So it's only taught at, new, at first years. So when you don't have new people coming in, you don't have the core class so they were actually able to make a second class for this semester so we're pretty excited um, that well I should say I'm pretty excited that I get to uh, I get to teach again I look forward to teaching whenever I can it's a lot of fun um, I've got a passion around it and I really like being able to teach the trades you know 
one thing that we really need a lot of is we need more people in the trades. So in order to do that, you've got to have, be able to have the instructors that um, are available to do it. And I get that opportunity. It's for Associated Builders and Contractors. It's a nationwide um, uh, facility, you know, a nationwide corporation where they, they, uh, they teach the trades all over the country. Problem is, they called me last night. They need to start the class Monday. <laughs> so the good thing about that is that I've already got all of my stuff prepped. All of my presentations are ready. I've got all of the information I need already because I've taught the class a few times. So I don't have to go through the book each chapter and you know prep before class. It's all I've already got it done. So I can just jump right in. So I'm really excited. So that's a that's a big deal. Well, just got done at the after school program for AJ. Really neat place. It uh, it's run by a really nice guy. He uh, in conversation we ended up finding out that he goes to our church. Uh, he just started going a few months ago, so which would explain why we probably haven't seen him. But uh, really neat program. We're excited. The best part is is it's right down the street from our house. It's in between our house and the school. So it's the whole the school, our house, and the uh, and the program like within a one mile radius so it works out perfect so we're pretty excited about that got to go through f some paperwork and all that stuff but it looks like uh, we're probably gonna be able to get him in the in the program so that he can go there after school so that Christina can continue to work and uh, it's gonna help out quite a bit because they've got some some really cool little programs and stuff that they work with the kids and, and uh, help them with their social skills and, and help them with school and things like that so we're pretty excited it's gonna be awesome well done with my day finally um, got quite a bit done on my way home in about 40 minutes uh, I'm gonna take Bradley uh, to a hockey game so I gotta go pick up Brad and uh, meet my dad over at my sister's house and uh, myself Bradley, my dad, and my nephew are going to go to the go to the hockey game now. So, should be fun. I'm uh, pretty excited about it. It's going to be kind of cool watching a hockey game out uh, outside. So, we'll see how that goes, and uh, we'll check in with you later. Well, got back from the hockey game. That was a lot of fun. So, that was not an actual Condors game. Um, our home team. It was actually an alumni and celebrity game um, so the majority of the team was made teams were made up of actual NHL hockey players like uh, Hall of Famers uh, so it was actually pretty impressive um, so it was the Kings and the Oilers and so uh, Rob Blake was playing um, Wayne Gretzky was actually the uh, was there he was the coach of the um, of the Kings and then uh, there were some other you know celebrities and and things like that so it was really kind of cool um, so uh, I'm gonna go on my run now so that I can be home and take a shower and relax and hang out looks like uh, Christina started the pixels movie um, so I'm gonna hurry up with my walk and then uh, come back and sit down and watch the movie with the family so um, in the meantime Here's a bunch of footage from the game. It was a lot of fun. Cancer Center NHL Alumni and Celebrity Game on the field at historic Bakersfield College Memorial Stadium. We want you all to have a great time. To a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame, this former team played in over 1,200 NHL games. He won a Stanley Cup with the Colorado Avalanche and was selected to seven NHL All-Star Games on defense. Number four, Rob Boy. Yeah. One of only five players to ever score 150 points in a season. He averaged more than a point per game during his illustrious 17-year career. His famous goal celebrations became known as the Pump Bear Nickel. And forward number nine, Bernie Nickel. This former Oilers forward selected to four All-Star Games, six Stanley Cups as a player. He was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2008 and scored nearly 500 goals, wearing number nine, Glenn Anderson. 
And finally, the number of records this player holds would take up a book. He was selected to an NHL All-Star on 18 separate occasions. He's the only player to ever record 200 points in a single season, and he did that four times. When retired in 1991, he held 61 NHL records with most still standing today. He has more assists than any other player in hockey history has points. He won four Stanley Cups in Edmonton and was inducted immediately into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1999. His mantle includes nine Hart Trophies as the league's most valuable player, two playoff MVPs, and his acquisition by the LA Kings in 1988 paved the way for hockey in California. His number is retired by all NHL teams today. It is our great pleasure to welcome the man simply known as the Great One. Ladies and gentlemen, number 99.